Hello, welcome to my uh, video playlist on the play framework using Scala. I've had a number of people request this playlist and I think it would be useful for my web app development class. So I've decided to go ahead and make it. So the play framework is a framework that works for the JVM. It has both Java and Scala bindings. It's written in Scala and it is what is called a reactive framework. They're rather proud of this. They have a nice little link here. What exactly does that mean? Well, their reactive manifesto goes through that, uh, but it's based upon the idea that the application is event-driven, uh, and because of that, they're able to make it resilient, which means that if you run this across multiple machines and one of them goes down, the app keeps running nicely, and elastic, and that it can easily expand out across multiple machines, and all of these things together give you the ultimate goal, which is to have the, the web application be responsive. That way when you have your Reddit moment and all of a sudden your usage skyrockets, uh, your app is built in such a way that it can easily handle the additional load by spanning out across many machines. Okay, so there are, there are a number of different reactive frameworks. Uh, the play framework as we currently stand in version 2.7 is sitting on top of Akka. Uh, it uses Akka HDP as the uh, web um, server for it. And anyone who is familiar with Scala knows that, that Akka is a, a significant Scala library. Uh, it's also another library that is accessible in Java. So in this video, I mainly want to tell you about the series and give you you know, just enough background knowledge so you know if this is the right series for you. I am assuming that coming into this, you know how to do client-side web development. I'm not going to teach HTTP. I'm not going to talk about CSS. Uh, I will be forced to use some of those somewhat. Actually, I'll probably ignore CSS completely. Uh, I also will have to use a little JavaScript in, in here. Uh, mainly because if you're going to do pretty much anything on the web, having some knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for the client side winds up being essential. I'm mainly going to focus on the server side aspects of this and how the play framework can be used to build a, the server side of an application. Towards the later part of this uh, playlist, I will kind of go beyond just uh, play and we'll also look at using Scala.js for the uh, for the client side so that we can write our client code instead of writing it in straight JavaScript we can write it also in Scala we can have some shared code between them uh, to simplify our development lives. I do have a Git repository that I have set up for this uh, there will be a link in the description for for the video and so I will put all of the code that I use here uh, inside of this. Yeah, anyway, so um, that's kind of the introduction. Uh, we'll go on next video. I'll start talking about play, look at the contents of this repository, and we'll uh, start seeing how we can use play basically as a, a basic web server.